Domain names, I think, um, and this is very much kind of a local issue, but from the perspective of a U.S. company, I think the really important thing is, is to think about international domain names, not just your U.S. domain names, because very often you have resellers in other countries, you're looking at um, growing it into certain parts of the world, whether it's Latin America, Asia, Europe, and you know, be ahead of the game. Think about your domain names early. They're really inexpensive to get. But if a reseller gets them before you or another company gets them before you, it can create a lot of problems and it can be expensive. And there's just such a simple way to solve it, which is you know, map out where you think you're going or where you think your resellers are going to be and just buy those domain names early. Um, you don't need to necessarily buy it for every mark you have, but at least think about your company name, your main products. Uh, it's just a really simple, inexpensive way of uh, starting to develop some property and really avoiding a dispute later. Um, it's probably the cheapest thing you can do you know, in the next week to uh, avoid a, a fight two or three years from now. A real world example of that is uh, I worked in a situation where a company was deciding to resell their product in Latin America and when they went down to the country and started negotiating with the partner, they found out the partner had already bought the name of their company uh, in a domain name. And so now they were in a sticky position about why did they do that, why should they do that, whose is it. And then they found out they actually couldn't even get it transferred if they wanted to. It just gets very complicated. Um, and, and the truth is they should have had it originally. It's their company name, I think. And uh, just by spending that 20 maybe bucks a year ahead of time, you could have avoided that whole discussion. If they needed it, you could have licensed it to them, you could have given the partner access to it, but you really don't want them beating you to the game. And, and I've seen too often that there are certain uh, you know, partners that, that will do this, and, and I just think it's, it's really probably the wrong kind of partner, but you're now at maybe too late in the process and they think they've done the right thing. So think about your domain names, think about international, and uh, it, it's, a, it's a, the same thing. It's a simple, inexpensive way to, to move forward in terms of creating some you know, valuable IP.